Hello everyone, welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today we're going to be building this cool animation. Um, it's going to be based off of the previous tutorial that I showed you how to create the, you know, how to put items around a circle. So if you haven't checked it, I put the uh, tutorial link, the YouTube link down in the description, but also you can click up here it's going to show up and you can click and watch that first. It's very important that if you haven't watched it, please watch that first. So again, let's get started. So as I said, I already kind of base it uh, off of that one. So you can see that we have like eight circles, uh, small circles around actually a big circle over here. And uh, basically the code, the more important thing is that we use scss in order to utilize the functionality that we need basically like defining variables and using for loops and all that and of course interpolation here uh, so let's get started so obviously first and foremost we have to basically based on this one we have to basically rotate the container and in order to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and create an animation by typing keyframes. Let's call it rotate. And then I basically want this to transform. Well, obviously, uh, actually, I already have it. Let's just remove it for now. So basically, what you need to do on the container, you have to basically rotate it. 90 degrees right but since we already have a transform we want to preserve that transport as well so i'm just going to put that and hopefully if i come on the container say animation rotate and let's put it one second let's see what we get yep there we go the only important thing is uh, just make it infinite and obviously i want the timing function to be linear right so that we can have these sort of fanfare animation here the next thing we need to do is obviously we have this circle in the center that kind of scales right and in order to do that i'm just going to come here and add another circle here so as you can see it ends up in the middle and obviously in order to make this animation this is like a scale animation so i'm just going to go ahead here uh, and create an animation. Let's call it again keyframes. Let's call the animation scale. And then I want it to transform scale, maybe seven. Let's see how it ends up being. So seven, uh, sort of seven times the size of its original one. So here, what I need to do is come and say, container div nth child and i know that i have nine element here so i'm just going to say the i i already have a variable here num element so i'm just going to put it well first first and foremost it needs to be eight because we did a for loop for the rotation in order to select the ninth one what i can do here is basically select num elements plus one right so that basically and put it inside parentheses and that basically puts it in the uh, the ninth element here so it selects the ninth child which we added and now i'm just going to say animation scale let's put one second let's see what we get here yeah not bad but i want it to be actually alternating and i want it to be infinite right so now you will see that we have this cool animation up here, right? The next thing to be able to get this effect is to use the infamous GUI SVG filter combination. I actually have it here. I'm just going to share this as well in the description. You can always copy this SVG part. Let's copy it and then paste it at the end of our HTML, right? So now the next thing or the final thing that I need to do is go to the container and say that I want to use that filter. So filter, the syntax is URL 
and then if you see here our SVG filter actually has the ID GUI so here I just need to say GUI right now you will see that awesome now we have this very cool and it's a little bit fast so let's change the scale animation to be actually maybe two seconds right now you will see that it actually looks pretty nice so yeah that's about it uh, this one was a short one actually if you follow the previous tutorial which is an extensive tutorial on how to put items in this case small circles over a bigger circle uh, the, and also the fact that we're using SCSS without that it's not even possible it has it needs to be going through a lot of manual sort of alterations here but now you can see how easy you can create this awesome animation so if you have any questions go ahead and put it in the comment section otherwise I wish you a good day or night goodbye